Chris Levert poised for a career year production and status certainly on the rise. Thus far, 20 plus points in seven games. Two go ahead field goals made with under two seconds to go. 1.3 steals, 29 deflections, 14 loose balls, all a team lead. More thoughts and comments coming in from around the NBA. This from teammate Zanan Musa down in the G League right now. I don't know what to say in this moment. Prayers up for my brother, Karis Levert. As promised, time for us to head back to Minnesota now and get the thoughts of Ryan Rucco and Sarah Kustak on tonight. Thank you very much. Obviously, the loss in Minnesota is a far, far, far lower subplot than anybody would have ever expected after the injury to Karis LeVert. And you saw, watching this game, just how stunned the arena was at the injury with LeVert and how heartbroken Karis' teammates were seeing him lying in pain and the shock on his face when he realized just how hurt he was. I know we talk about, about it a lot. I know throughout the course of the Nets organization, teammates talk about it in the media, but I, I think it's hard to truly describe and express the amount of respect his teammates have for what he does each and every day, the work that he has put in to become the player that he is, and more importantly than anything, the person that Karis LeVert is to everyone within the organization, to everyone on the outside, no matter who he comes across and who he touches. He is truly a special, special soul, and so to see him go down in that fashion, uh, the looks of his teammates, the emotions that they showed, um, you know, our thoughts and prayers, of course, go out to Karis LeVert, but just a, a truly tough situation for this team in a gritty way in which they um, went through the second half but more than anything you know that their minds are on their teammate what's going on with him and, and just um, just the awful way in which they had to watch him go down on the floor you talk to anyone around the Nets organization they will constantly rave about the work that Karis yeah. LeVert puts in in this summer always getting better he's also one of the most kind affable guys you could ever come across so you you feel awful for him the person as you're saying and you also now look at the Nets who have been relying on him heavily have felt great about the start of this season the way they've played of late especially and Levert was a linchpin of that success well in a big thing I mean you think about coming into this game and in, in the tough early season schedule that the Nets have had both on the road a lot of Western Conference teams six and seven coming into this feeling like there was maybe a few others they could have gotten um, but the chemistry that was built among this group among these lineups how they were starting to play so well together and we could point uh, to the success of D'Angelo Russell with Karis LeVert. Karis LeVert with Jared Allen. You can go down the list and um, he truly was the integral part of how this offense runs and we know it's one in which it's free-flowing, it's motion, everyone is involved. But Karis LeVert was a playmaker on the team, the go-to guy, the one that just coming off of hitting the, the game-winning shot in Denver, of course, um, had others in the early part of the season. So he had become their go-to player, their playmaker, and someone who is starting to be talked about uh, all across the NBA opening up a lot of eyes so again we just hope for the best out of this situation for Karis. A lot of emotions here in Minnesota tonight as everybody's thoughts and prayers turn to Karis Levert as we send it back to you guys in the studio. Very much so. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Sarah. So the Nets head back home off a seven-point loss in Minnesota, although the loss of Karis Levert overshadows everything about the action. We've got